All right, Zuggy fishing fans. There's something alive. Can you see me two fish? Oh, there's no, no way. Today I'm surprising Bass Fishing Productions with a brand new mystery fish. What is going on guys? Zuggy fishing here, back to you with another video. Before we get to the main surprise, let me start from the beginning. So about 10 days ago, I went to Southeast Florida. We did a lot of fishing, caught some hammerhead sharks, snakeheads, clown knife fish, peacock bass, largemouth bass, and more. But one of the main highlights of this trip, about three years ago, I hit up my friend Bobby, AKA Bass Fishing Productions to see if he wanted to fish and we fished together. We caught some big bass, peacock bass, clown knife fish, snakehead. It was awesome. And being in his area once again, I had to hit him up. And Bobby was more than happy to have us to take a tour of his fish ponds. Pretty much toured his property of all the cool fish and different animals. Y'all, it was insane. We saw fish that were super expensive, super rare, and not even found in this country. We saw things from red tail catfish to $4,000 goonch catfish, arowanas, hakus, clown knife fish, Amazonian turtles, and so many other species. It was actually one of the coolest things I've seen. We even had a challenge during it where whoever could name the most amount of fish species wouldn't get pinched by a crawfish. And I was the one to get pinched by a crawfish. Watch this. Ooh. Oh, Ooh. oh, 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 <laughs> let go, let go. Oh, wow. oh no. <laughs> but after all that said and done, I needed to repay Bobby for letting us take a tour. And I thought the best way to do that was to surprise him with a new fish. He's already got a lot of fish, but I was trying to find the one that he didn't have yet. So today we're going to be searching around for a fish. Send Bobby that he doesn't have. But even before I had this idea, I hit him up and said, Bobby, is there any new fish that you need that I could give you for the pond? I sent him some peacock bass and he was like, no, I'm good. Those are actually illegal in Florida. And I was like, let me surprise you with some. He was like 100% I'm down. So me and Charles and AD Fishing really put on our thinking caps for this one. We were trying to find a fish that was super, super cool, not even found in this country, and would be really good fit for his ponds. And mind you guys, Bobby has absolutely no idea what this fish is. I even texted him and threw him off and asked if these pike are illegal in his state. This process took a really long time. We searched through numerous websites trying to locate the coolest fish possible. My friend AD Fishing even has one of the coolest tanks out there. We're trying to find a fish in his tank that Bobby maybe didn't have or that was really cool. We initially came across the tiger moor a eel. We came across some peacock bass as well, but this species was actually illegal in Florida. There's actually surprisingly a lot of illegal fish that you can't have as pets in Florida. I don't know if it's a universal thing or just Florida. Then we thought a tarpon could be cool, but like there definitely is something better. He's got red tail catfish, arowanas, clown knife fish, paku, a million different types of catfish, and abba abba knife fish. That fish is insane though, by the way. It's, it's crazy. So we really didn't know. After certain Searching the web, pretty much set on the tiger mori eel, and I was about to press send. Charles looked one more time at this fish store's website, and he found one of the coolest catfish I've ever seen. Y'all, this is the jelly catfish. This thing values for $125. We pretty much instantly knew this was the one. This thing kind of looks like a flathead catfish, and I'm also 99.99% .99 sure that Bobby does not have this catfish. What's crazy about this fish is that it's actually found in the Orinoco drainage in Colombia and Venezuela. These fish love to hang on the bottom and ambush their prey down there. And also another thing about this fish, it gets really big. We thought for sure this was the one. And after a little more thinking and searching, we knew we wanted this one. It's currently Tuesday, January 9th at 4.09 p.m. and I just ordered it. There was only one left in stock, so we knew we had to hop on it. And the shipping was pretty expensive because you have to ship overnight, so it should be getting there either tomorrow or the next day, and Bobby is going to be super surprised. And just in a little bit, you're going to see Bobby's reaction and unboxing to this fish. So I think we made a really good decision. Jelly catfish for Bobby. If you guys think we should surprise him with another cool fish in the future, leave it in the comments. Y'all, I think this is going to be a really cool surprise and Bobby's going to be really excited. Now, we just wait for his reaction. Bobby has no idea what this is, so it is a mystery surprise fish for him and we're super excited to show it. Now, we just wait. Y'all, all glory to God. Be positive, just fish. Now, we wait and we'll see Bobby in South Florida. We have a problem, but not a problem. So I look back at the order confirmation for Bobby's fish order, obviously, and I actually ordered two fish by accident. As I said previously, we were looking to buy Bobby a pike. Charles thought this could be a really cool addition to his tanks. I even asked Bobby if it was illegal to throw him off, but I didn't realize that this pike was in my cart the whole time when I was ordering the jelly catfish. So we now have two fish that we're sending Bobby. So now Bobby's going to have two fish instead of one. That's my mistake, but it could be pretty cool, actually. We got him a cichlid 
Crested Pike. It did end up being a little more expensive, but definitely worth it to see a new fish in Bobby's tank. I was looking at the order form and, you know, making sure it was confirmed and all that. And I saw that there was two fish in the cart, but that's all right. It's still really cool. So now Bobby's going to have a pike and a jelly catfish. So, all right, we'll see you in South Florida. All right, Zuggy fishing fans. Um, I don't know what's going on here, but I just got home and there is a package, a fish package for me. And I did not order it, but I know Zuggy was gonna do this. So yeah, I'm really excited. He didn't tell me what fish. And yeah, we're gonna open it up right now. I'm really excited. Zuggy, shout out to you. Thank you for the uh, the little fish surprise here. You can see Rush Perishable. There's something alive. And yeah, we're gonna pop this baby open. And whatever it is, we're gonna have to find a home for it. Whether it's like this pond behind me or one of the other ponds, one of the fish tanks in the fish room. I don't know, but we're about to find out. Here we go. It's not like heavy it's like really light maybe it's a goldfish i don't know i'm a little worried actually because i don't really hear any water in there unless the fish is like really small then maybe it's like a small package let's find out though hopefully whatever is in here is alive oh let's not show this i think my address is on that okay okay there's a there's a packing label with what is in here i don't want to look at it i'm not gonna look okay we're just gonna crumble that up and throw that out of here here we go we got a box oh it's small okay it's wait there's two. There's Zuggy. Did he send me two fish? What? I'm, I'm closing my eyes. Ready? You guys get to see it first. Can you see it? Yeah. I don't know what it is. Whoa. Oh, snap. Look at that. That's a little pike sickly. That thing is gorgeous. I don't know what kind it is. Doesn't look like any I've caught before, though. Look at the little stripe on that. That is sick. Oh, there's no, no way. Hold on a minute. I think that might be a jelly catfish. If that's a jelly catfish, that is crazy. But first, we got a little pike cichlid. He sent me two fish. I didn't know this was going to happen. Zuggy, someone, I guess, let me know what kind it is. But he's super cool. First fish down. And this guy, there's like some big catfish in here. Looks like he popped the bag. Oh, that is a jelly catfish. Is he alive? He is. He's moving. Yes. Oh my gosh, this is crazy. You guys, I have one of these in the fish tank in my room and yeah they're super cool mine's about the same size that right there is a jelly catfish we're gonna pop both these guys out of the bags and then we're gonna find a home for them but yeah zuggy shout out to you thank you bro two really cool fish this guy is awesome let's find some homes for these fish okay we decided where we're gonna put the jelly catfish and uh we didn't have to go far actually the pond behind me, there's a lot of catfish in there. You can see the red tails, the Asian red tails, the Irwinis. We got some really cool stuff in here. And this is like a little grow out to then put in the predator pond. So this guy will be perfect. They get really big. So once he gets really big, we're going to have to move him. But for now, I think this will be a good pond for him. So we're going to acclimate him and we'll get back to you guys once we're getting them into the pond. Here we go. And for the little pike cichlid, we're here at the Tiki Hut and we got my mom's fish tank behind me. And I think this guy will be great in here. As you can see, we got a really big Severum. We got a lot of little different catfish in here. And then that guy in the back, that is an Ultim angelfish. They get super big, a lot bigger than normal angelfish. And uh, yeah, I got a little surprise for my mom and threw that in there and she loves it. But I also think she'll love this gorgeous little pike cichlid. So we're gonna dump them in here, let them acclimate. And yeah, then we're gonna put both these fish away. It's gonna be awesome. Can't wait, we'll see you guys then. Oh yeah, all right. We're gonna cut them open. It looks like he popped the bag. Thank God there was two layers because, yeah, he definitely popped this one. Good thing he is alive. Come on, nice and easy. Look at that. Oh, he's so cool. Look at that catfish, you guys. That is a jelly catfish. All right, let's get him in. Look at this tail. His, like, second half is, like, jet black. It's super cool. There you go, little guy. Get big and strong in there. Oh, that is sweet. All right, here we go. Time to get the pike in the tank. Let's cut him open. There we go. All right, here we go. Got him. Look how cool that is. Oh, let's hope he doesn't jump out. There he goes into the, oh wow, he's fast. That is super cool, you guys. Look at that little pike. I think those get big too. All right, well, that was awesome, Zuggy. Thank you so much. Shout out to you guys. If you're watching this, please like his video, subscribe to him. This was really cool. Two super awesome fish. We got the jelly catfish and a random pike cichlid. And yeah, dude, thank you so much. And uh, back to you, I guess. <laughs> thank you, Bobby. Well, yo, we are back from South Florida. Bobby got the fish about a day and a half later and he really, really enjoyed it, which I'm super happy and grateful for. Y'all, I did say I was 99.99% sure that he didn't have a jelly catfish, but it ends up 
up, he did. But this one's gonna be another cool addition to put it in a new pond. He's gonna grow really big and then put it in the predator pond, so that's really cool. If you guys don't know what the predator pond is, go check out the other video where we toured BFP's ponds. I'm shocked the jelly catfish survived knowing that it did poke through one of the bags. It's definitely risky ordering fish because you never know, you know, if they're gonna survive. Thank the Lord that these fish survived and made it to Bobby's. And as I said before, I didn't even know we ordered him the pike, but it seems to be doing really good in that little tank for his mom. It was definitely a win-win. I think this is just going to be the beginning of the surprises that we're going to give Bobby in the near future. I'll definitely have to make my way down to South Florida to see his ponds again and our fish that we gave him. But I thought this could be a really cool idea to thank Bobby for letting us come take a tour. Surprise was successful. I'm thinking something even cooler for the next time, but let me know what you think in the comments. Leave a comment down below if a fish that I should surprise Bobby with in the future. If you've been part of the BFP Nation for a while and you know a fish that he doesn't have, let me know in the comments. Well, it was a successful video, even though I'm in Alabama and he's in Florida. Glad we could do another awesome video together. Big shout out to Bobby. Go check out his channel if you haven't already. It's linked down below. Thank y'all for coming on this journey with me and watching today's video. I love y'all with all my heart. All glory to God. Bible verse down in the description of this video. Be positive, just fish.